Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today's workout, what we are doing is an advanced workout doing compound movements. So meaning we are going to work the entire body, upper, lower, and when we do those movements, we're doing them at the same time. So we're going to make this a nice quick workout. This is one that, you, again, you're working your full body. We'll get through it nice and quick. It can be a workout that you do once. If you have time, you can do it two or three times to get multiple sets in. What you will need, some space. We are going down onto the floor for this advanced workout. So having that space, if you want a mat, grabbing your mat, and of course having a set of dumbbells. Some of the movements will hold on to one dumbbell. Most of them will be holding on to both. If you have multiple sets, go ahead and grab those. Also, grab your water. Having that space, getting that mind ready for this fun workout we are about to do. I'll meet you right back here once you get all of your equipment. Welcome back everyone. We are ready to get started with our full body compound movement workout. We are doing our sets for time. So you're going to hear the beeping. 15 seconds of rest, 45 seconds of work today. We have 10 different movements we're doing. We're going through our set one time. First movement we're doing, I'm gonna hold on to one dumbbell. We're going to do a squat. We're going to press our weight out in front of us. You do have the option of holding both if you choose, but like I said, some movements we're holding on to one. So holding on to that, I'm gonna start our timer. We get 15 seconds before we start that first movement. All right, 15 seconds. Again, if you hear the beeping, it's just my timer. Two hands, feet are shoulder distance apart. Keeping our knees in alignment with our ankles, core is tight, lengthen the spine, relax those shoulders down. I want you sitting back, pressing out, sitting back, pressing out. Inhale, exhale. Remember with those compound movements, you might feel the heart rate going up a little bit more than when we're just doing our normal strength training. That's okay. It becomes almost cardio-like, which is a good thing. But if it becomes too much, remember taking a part out of it. Take upper out or take lower out. 15 seconds break, holding onto our other dumbbell, safely, carefully picking it up, deadlift, with back pull, feet shoulder distance apart, slight bend in the knees, weights are in front of you, keeping length in the spine, chest forward, back pull, stand up tall. When we're standing up, we're focusing on our hamstrings, the back of our legs and our gluteals to lift us up. It's not our lower back. Of course, with that back pull, upper back does the work. Back body working with these movements. Equal pressure, ball of your foot to your heel. Core pulled in tight, length stays in the spine. Don't curb the spine with that bend forward. Next movement, I'm choosing to hold both of my weights. We're doing a nice tight lunge. So right foot in front of left. So remember, I don't want you back far. I just want you relying on that right leg to hold your body weight. So we're going down, right arm, Curls up. Keep the elbow nice and close to the side of the body. Make the bicep do the work. Don't swing the weight forward. You should feel that right quadricep and gluteal pressing you back up. Light weight on your left ball of the foot. Other side, same thing, a tight lunge. 
So remember with lunges, I want you to open the feet. You're on railroad tracks. Shouldn't be trying to hold your balance the entire time. Equal pressure, ball of your foot to your heel. Left foot, right's behind you. Down, curl up. Again, elbow nice and close to the side of the body. No swinging, focusing. Bicep front of the arm, lifting that weight up. Quadricep gluteal, those abdominals pulled in tight. Breathe into it. Next movement, just right side, is working again. We're doing a mini squat. We're gonna come up with a side arm raise, side leg raise. Lot of balance, abdominals tight. So mini squat down, right side. Stay on right. Think shoulder, outer thigh, hip, gluteals, with that leg that's going out to the side. You're going to start feeling that standing leg. Again, that core is pulled in tight. Length stays in the spine. Stay nice and proud with me. Breathe with it. Other side, little shake out. Now all that weight stays on right. Left leg out, left arm out. Mini squat. Side leg raise, side arm raise. So down and up. Find that point. Keep your gaze on it, helps with your balance. Next movement we're doing, we're going down to the floor for the remainder of the workout. So taking your time with that. Carefully getting down to the floor, pausing the workout if you need to. Both weights still, laying back, chest level. Doing our bridge with our chest press. Squeeze gluteals, release. Pressing weights from the chest. Shoulders, neck and head. Stay on the ground, nice and comfortable. Exhale, inhale. Core's tight. Pull it in. Release one of your dumbbells down to the ground. Two hands, one dumbbell. We're gonna keep our hips up, squeezing the gluteals entire time. They stay up with a skull crusher, working back of our arms, our triceps. Keep the elbows pulled in, so try not to let them flare out to the sides. Focus on the back of your arms those triceps, weight going down towards, of course, the skull. Squeeze those gluteals, keep the core pulled in tight. Breathe, exhale on your exertion. Good job. Couple of core movements now. 
bringing those legs up to 90 degrees, holding that weight at chest level. If that feels okay, unless you need to drop it, put hands behind head. We're doing one crunch, one hip lift. So crunch up, lift those hips up. Think upper middle, lower abdominals. Remember with those crunches, you're crunching up towards the sky. You're not leading from the neck, leading from the chest. Breathe with it, working the core. One more movement, our bicycles. Again, holding on to that dumbbell. If you can, if you're starting to feel pain pressure in the neck, dumbbell goes down, hands behind the head. We're getting rotation through the upper body. Legs are going to lengthen out. Crunch side to side, get that twist. We want those obliques to work, sides of the waist, lower back. Breathe. Inhale, exhale. Almost there, almost there, stick with me. And time, that dumbbell goes down. I turn this timer off. Big lengthen out in the body, big stretch. Like you're being pulled in two different directions, entire body is lengthening and stretching out. If it feels okay, bring both knees into the chest, little rock side to side. Releasing that lower back, just a couple quick stretches at the end. Releasing feet down, just bringing that right knee in towards your chest, and if it's available, lengthen it and gently pull it in. Whatever feels best. A little movement through the foot and that ankle joint. Release the right down, just crossing it over the left, gently pressing out. Let's release the right, same thing left. Knee either comes into the chest. If it's available, lengthen it. Gently pull it in towards you. Get rotation and movement in that foot. And taking that, crossing it over, gently pressing it out. And now one more nice big stretch again, opposite directions, lengthen the body out, bring those knees in, rolling over to your side to sit up nice and tall, however is comfortable with the legs crossed out, whatever feels best for you, or transitioning into a seated position. Bring those hands behind your back, lifting them up, opening through the shoulders and chest, staying nice and tall, proud, breathe. And release, bring them in front, round arch spine. Bring them up towards the sky, big stretch up, bring them down by your sides, three deep inhales, exhales, inhale, bring that length up, exhale. Two more times, big deep inhale, and exhale. One more time, big deep inhale, length goes up. Exhale, release it all out because you just finished your quick full body compound movement advanced workout. I am so proud of you. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to our next workout together.